Hey guys, so in this video, I did 10 healthy habits consecutively for one week to see how it would make me feel. These habits consisted of getting up at the same time every morning, not checking my phone 30 minutes after waking up, making my bed every morning, meditation, drinking eight glasses of water per day, movement, making a green juice every day, spending 10 minutes cleaning, journaling, and reading before bed instead of going on my phone. Stay tuned to see how doing these habits consecutively made me feel. Hey guys, so I haven't even touched my phone yet. I already drank water, I did my meditation. Now I'm on the way because I need to go to the grocery store because I need to get green shit like kale because I wanna make a green juice, which is part of the healthy habit criteria. So I just need to go to the grocery store to get that kind of stuff and I just wanted to zip out like right away. Um, I just literally finished my meditation not too long ago. So I just wanted to zip out right away because I didn't wanna like leave it. I kinda wanna drink it in the morning before I have my coffee or anything just because i feel like i have an empty stomach right now so i feel like i'll get the most benefits out of the green juice if i drink it on an empty stomach but yeah i'm just zipping out to the grocery store i haven't even touched my phone yet it's been over half an hour now which is pretty impressive for me because usually i go on my phone while i'm still in bed for about 10 minutes before i actually get out of bed so i actually am really loving not like being on my phone because I'm not getting distracted like I'm not laying in bed for an extra 10 minutes before I get up like I just got up It's a really good feeling. I actually think that I'm gonna definitely keep this habit into my like daily life So yeah, let's go green juice shopping. Also a side note. I literally am wearing shorts I wanted to wear athletic wear so it'll motivate me to like go on a walk to do some movement I'm for later But I literally wear shorts and a hoodie and I step outside and it's freezing cold Like it's literally negative 20 million degrees. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like I was expecting some just like, you know, like normal like not Freezing ass temperature, but no, she's freezing. She's really freezing today. Okay, so from the grocery store, I got some nice kale, I got some Swiss chard, and I'm just going to be juicing all of this. I don't know, I'm probably not going to use this all for the juice today, um, because I just want to make like one small portion, so I'm going to save it for the rest of the days that I'm doing this. I also got ginger because I potentially am want to make ginger shots. It's good for this time of year to get my immunity up. So I just made a little bit because I just want to do one portion for me. I still need to like strain this through so there's still a little bit more to be in here. So I did carrots, um, apples, pears, kale, but yeah, hopefully it's good. I'm going to taste it to make sure it's sweet enough. I'm not even kidding you. I did not plan this to fill up perfectly. This just literally happened. Cheers. This is so good. It has kind of like a really green aftertaste, if that makes sense, like a kale-y aftertaste, but it's definitely really good. You gotta make sure to like put carrots or apples or something sweet in there, because if you're just drinking straight up kale, that's not gonna taste good. It makes me just feel so healthy. You know what I mean? Success. Okay, guys, for my movement today, I'm going to soccer practice, so that's gonna be about an hour, which is good enough for my movement today. Yeah, it's currently eight o'clock and that's what I'm doing. And we're gonna check off the rest of the things after my soccer, so see you later.
Okay, so I'm gonna be making the exact same juice as yesterday. The Swiss chard, the kale, the two carrots, and then I had two pears and then one apple. It was actually so good. So I'm actually really excited to drink this. And it also makes me feel just so healthy because I know that I'm getting some greens in. Love this for myself. <laughs> face mask and then finish off my skincare this is so tight like i let it dry for a little too long but yeah day two i'm feeling really good i drank all my water i feel like i'm not going pee as much i don't know i just feel like i didn't go pee an excessive amount today which is good drinking the water is definitely something that i need to like start doing every single day like making sure that i'm getting enough water and i even like went over the amount of water today like i drank a little bit extra even i'm so into the book i'm reading it's by colleen hoover and it's called it ends with us so good so far like i don't want to end the book like i'm literally trying to read it slowly on purpose so that i don't have to finish it and they're making a movie about it and i'm so like i cannot be more excited anyways day two is going great i'm excited to continue this for tomorrow honestly i just feel like the healthiest version of myself doing these habits just makes me feel really healthy and in tune so far so good the only thing that's not making me feel good right now is how tight this face mask is getting because i'm leaving it out for too long so i'm gonna go wash it off and go to bed and i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> Okay, so I just went into Starbucks and I got a coffee. So I haven't made like my green juice yet because usually I've been like drinking that before I eat or drink or whatever. But I decided that I, I'm like going out today. So I'll make it when I get back and I'll just have like more like a lunchy evening type of green juice just because it's so time consuming. See, the thing is, is like I love having it. Like I really do love having the green juice, but it's so time consuming like to clean the machine, to wash the vegetables. It's honestly the cleanup that's the most time consuming. It takes me probably like half an hour just to make that one glass. So yeah, that's the only thing about it is how time consuming it is. And that's why I can see how it's like hard for people to do that like every day. So I just made a little cute skincare corner in my vanity in the bathroom here because I'm really getting into skincare nowadays and I just wanted to have like a designated corner to motivate me to have my beautiful products on display just because it looks cute and also it'll motivate me to do my skincare more often because I want to get like more into that. Yeah, I literally love how cute it looks. So I'm obsessed. <laughs> of vegetables like kale and stuff to make the rest for the last two days of this so i came to the grocery store we're gonna grab some so we're gonna get some kale and some like the same things that i got last time let's go 
and I'm literally just now having the brain juice because I was just out of the house and it just like I didn't have time for it until like right now so sticking to it last day of doing the green juice honestly doing the green juice is like makes me feel so healthy and I love it and I want to do it more often it's just not attainable to do every single day because sometimes like you literally won't have time so it is now five o'clock and I'm gonna have it as my pre-dinner juice I guess which is not like a bad thing at least I'm getting it in me you know so yeah latest I've had it yet though so I've officially completed the healthy habits challenge and I just wanted to come on here to give you guys like an overview how it went was it worth it a review so overall I think that these habits are perfect for somebody that wants to better themselves is feeling not so productive on their day-to-day -day basis wants things to like improve their mental health potentially because everything that I did honestly was kind of like a form of self-care so I think it's really beneficial Although I don't think it would be beneficial to everyone because obviously everybody likes doing different things and everybody's different. But overall, I see it as very beneficial. It makes you feel very productive. Although it does take a lot of time and you gotta put your mind to it. It's very easy just to do one of these things and then not feel like doing the rest. So if you wanna do them, you have to kind of commit, put your mind to it and kind of set a list daily so that you actually get them accomplished. Otherwise, it's really easy not to do them. So some of the things that I had like in the habits list, I already kind of did but i didn't do every single day like it was something that i would do maybe a few times a week when i would remember or feel like it or have time it's just like very time consuming especially like the green juice it's probably the most time consuming thing on the list but if you're down to do it then try it i mean just try it for a few days try all these habits honestly it made me feel really good in tune and very productive like i said before but yeah if you guys are curious on how it feels you know to be on a little program like this and do these types of things every single day i would say just try it Set your mind to it for like five days. Just give yourself like a Monday to Friday. Try and incorporate it in your schedule. But overall, I think that these habits honestly do make you feel good inside. At least they did for me. Yeah, thank you guys so much for coming along this journey and watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I hope you learned something from it. I hope you got some motivation, some inspiration. Honestly, some days it was like, oh, I don't want to clean today or I don't want to drink so much water today. But you just kind of have to push through those kind of thoughts and just do it and then I feel like it's better for you in the long run because everything on the list is like good healthy mindset and good healthy things to do so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video